What is up, YouTube? That's right. It's Mike here. How we all doing? Prime RC, more specifically the mainline version. Uh, as you know, I will not call it what they call it because I do not believe that is what it's called. And that's that. I did some custom work on this one. Uh, nothing overly elaborate, but I figured I'd give a quick review and just show you what, exactly what I did to try and make it better. First of all, the weapons. Uh, I took the blade and I, I just didn't like it. I don't like the first edition Prime RC's blades. I don't like this one's blade. It, even though it's in slightly better scale, it's still way too big. Way, way too big. So, I said forget it. But the blaster, I found a use for the blaster. It's not with this toy, definitely not. The blaster is about the length of the motorcycle, and that I, I can't deal with that. I just can't. I'm going. I'm going to do an Ultra Magnus and say I cannot deal with that now. So, but here's when I can deal with it. I can deal with it now on Classics 2.0 Sideswipe. Yeah, there you go. This blaster fits him damn near perfect. Looks like the old hand replacement blaster that G1 uh, made popular. I don't think Sideswipe ever did that. But if he did, it'd probably look something like this. Almost like a sniper type of weapon now. Just coming out of his arm. And if you wanted to give it the classic rifle look, just use a second peg. And there you go. Not much of a difference, but... It, it matters sometimes. Sometimes. Not a huge deal to me, but... Hey, what are you going to do? But this gun works great on just about any of your deluxe type figures. Especially from Classics 2.0 when they still had the fist thing going on. Just regular fist instead of a just hand. So it works well with Sideswipe, of course, Sunstreaker... Uh, Prowl, uh, Blue Streak, you know, the Prowl mold, this mold, Red Alert. Uh, even works okay for Optimus Prime, I think. So you could give it to Prime. Um, I'm not sure. I think you could probably give it to the mainline Prime. I think actually Aaron MP8, did you say you were going to do that? I think you did. I think you said that a while ago, and I'm just forgetting because I never responded to that message. My bad, dude. My bad. But anyways, this is my favorite way to use it, with side swipe, as the quintessential hand replacement Cybertronian cannon of Carnage, or some crazy pretentious name. Fantastic, though. Absolutely love it. Would recommend getting RC just for this gun to go with this side swipe, because all he had before was this thing. So, very nice. Uh, now that, that's over. I already, I already semi-reviewed that now. I mean, now everything else you're getting is reviews gravy right here, I'll tell you what. But anyways, RC, great character in, in Transformers Prime. Uh, probably one of the, one of the best, and without a doubt, the best female character in any Transformers series. Maybe besides Black Arachnia, but even then, eh, you know, still, great female character. Y you don't, you know what, someone, someone who, uh, who deals with characterization and everything more than me would really get into this, this character here. Still, fantastic bike mode, no complaints with it. Uh, you do see the legs, but whatever. I'm not seriously bothered by that at all. Got a little kickstand, leave it up, leave it down, whatever. Do your thing. Rolls well until it falls over. There's that. Now on to the transformation, and as a result, the modification I made to this figure. You start with the transformation by pulling these sections out. And the modification I made, you can see right here, I clipped these bits that hook the front wheel and all this assembly onto it. So it grasps it, but it doesn't stay on. So 
so I just pull it off and get rid of it. I know I'm turning a perfectly reasonable transformer into a parts former, but I feel like the effect you get in the robot mode for not having that giant backpack is worth it. Uh, we're going to pull the legs down, wheel around, other wheel, come around, the legs all situated, pull the arms out, and fold that down, get a nice head reveal going on there. Make sure that clip's in place. And now you've got RC. And, uh, yep, you're missing the wings that she has in the show, but you're also missing a giant backpack sticking out her back, which I think makes the robot mode just look so much more clean, so much nicer. And honestly, I, I think, well, here I can even show you, because I only, I clipped it just enough. You can see, not a perfect job, by no stretch of the imagination is it a perfect job. Uh, all I used was a very, very tiny knife to wedge it out, and then a very, very, very tiny pair of scissors, just to clip these things, which were originally ring-shaped. And... Those rings would just stay attached right here behind her neck. So, oh yeah, I forgot. It goes on like this. So yeah, you can have the wing still if you want. You can still have the wing pack. You can still have that, and I mean, it looks okay from the front, but on the side it's just, eh. And... If you've seen the show, RC's always flipping around and shooting people and all that crazy stuff. And it seems like this would just get in the way. So pop it off. And here's one thing I'd do with it. One thing I'd do with it that's a little weird, I suppose you might say. Uh, but no weirder than uh, Mantis 99s. That guy's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I know what you do, dude. It's sick and wrong, but it's also inspiring. Keep it up. <laughs> Anyways, I fold it up, and now I just say this is her Cybertronian cycle drone. She's a scout. Definitely a scout, so I figure this would be her eyes and ears on the ground, just sort of zipping along. Meow. You know? Zipping along, and uh, the windshield picks up data, sends it to her brain. Got the little antenna here, and uh, that's that's how I roll with it, right there. That's that's what I do. There you go, Cybertronian cycle drone. Beautiful. Now to the weapons. This is what I was talking to Aaron MP8 about that I I thought worked out really well. Now someone else used this. I don't know. I think maybe he did. Maybe it was Ex Willy or something. But you got a uh, Revenge of the Fallen Nest Brawn or RTS Fallback. And they both have these great pistols. Very nice. Very nice, yeah, if you ask me. I thought it worked great. So there you go. There's your advice for the day. There's your, your message, Aaron MP8. That's basically what I did. Uh, Cybertronian Cycle Drone. Fallback Guns. And, uh, classic sideswipe gets a rifle. Everybody wins, man. Everybody wins. Beautiful. Great stuff. Fantastic time. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I don't mind saying it's been a great video. Hope you thought the same. Whatever.